Good morning, you guys. So today is July 2nd and I just, it's like eight in the morning. I just finished my morning walk. I just did like two miles on a goddamn mountain. And I do this like almost every morning and it's very nice. And if I don't get my day started by doing this, I feel like shit, like a piece of shit, you know what I mean? And at like midnight last night, I had like $15 worth of Taco Bell. So I feel extra obligated to do this this morning. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I did. Also, my hair can finally go in a bun. And I'm so excited about that. I feel like my old self again. And I can't wait till my hair gets super long. I'm just gonna let it keep growing. It's also about to come a rainstorm. It's been thundering and lightning all morning and like the sky is really dark this way. You guys, I'm not even joking. As soon as I got in my car, the rain set in. I like, I timed that walk so perfectly. So it is now like 11 o'clock and if you can't hear outside, it's thundering and raining like really fucking hard, which I am so down for. I just had an amazing shower and I got dressed. I decided to throw on a flannel today since it's raining and shit, I wanted to be cozy. Um, and I think I'm gonna put my hair up today too. I don't know, I've been doing this like every day where I put my hair in a bun. Although my hair is not like super long yet, it kind of does work and it does look good. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. What do you guys think? It kind of looks like a fucking doorknob right now, but <laughs> once it gets longer, the bun will get better. the fuck is that y'all i decided to pull up in my favorite coffee shop i've came here consistently for about seven years and i've always gotten the same exact sandwich it's a jalapeno bacon panini with pimento cheese and it's delicious it's, it's usually like the best thing ever it's so tasty but this time they had like different bread and i'm not usually one to complain about my food like i'll just eat that shit and like get over it but i was like damn you know however their iced coffee was pretty fire that shit never disappoints <laughs> Yes, so I just got back home after I had my lunch. I stopped by Walmart and I grabbed some paint and some groceries. So, as you can see by the fucking wall behind me, you can probably guess why I bought some paint. Um, so if you guys remember, like three or four months ago, I painted my bathroom white and it's like 80% done, but I ran out of paint. And as you can tell, <laughs> I just never finished it. So my bathroom has been looking like this for like three or four months and it's just like disgusting. You guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm straight up giving this place the landlord special. I'm painting over dust, bugs, dirt, anything, hair. I'm painting over that shit. <laughs> so it has been like two hours since I first started recording me painting my bathroom. Holy fuck, I thought this was gonna be like a 30 minute project, but it turned into like two hours. So I just got done and I put on some nice clothes again because I was wearing like shitty clothes earlier. Oh my God, I have paint in my eyebrow. But I finally got the bathroom done and it looks so good in here. It looks so clean and so wide. So I, oh my God, I missed this spot. Holy shit, my dumbass. I literally missed that spot, you guys. I just realized that's so fucked. Honestly, you can't really tell though, <laughs> but it looks so much better in here. So as you guys can see, I got all of that wall done and I got all that done. I'm really happy with it. My bathroom looks so good. And my kitchen, like I said, I repainted my kitchen um, a few months ago as well. And I, I'm just like so happy with how my place is coming together. It feels like it's, you know, mine. And I love that. And I'm just so happy. So now that my bathroom is painted, I am going to actually show you guys around my apartment and give you all a little updated tour. So I made a video like eight months ago when I first moved in this place, showing you all around. And it was so bare. And... Over the past eight months, I've done so much decorating and I'm far from finished. Let me just say that. We are far from finished with this place. I have so much shit that I want to do still. So down here is my front door and you come up these stairs into the actual apartment. And this is the living room. I actually just recently bought this um, posty poster. I love this and it's beside this sword. And then I have a lot of posters um, hung up as you can tell. So this is the living room. We got the couch, the fucking entertainment center, which I love. I have some of my favorite books. I have these Lego flowers, which are really cute. These are a bunch of roses and then some vinyls and just like random shit. Um, and then we got this TV recently, got my Lana poster, got my Kurt poster. These two vinyls actually fell. <laughs> I had these two Nirvana vinyls hung up there, but they literally fell in the middle of the night the other day. So I'm about to hang those back up. 
And um, this is all of my bongs. I have quite a bit of bongs. And then this is just like the computer gaming setup. This is mine, obviously, which is where I spend a whole lot of fucking time. And then the wall is supposed to say blaze, but the fucking B fell off. So I'm gonna have to get more command strips and then refix that. In here is the bedroom, which looks like shit right now. I'm in the process of getting new comforter sets, a rug, and then two nightstands. So it'll look a lot better in here. And then I'm gonna get some curtains. Uh, we got our TV over here with the dresser, and then this is a closet with some clothes in it. In here is the bathroom, obviously, which I just repainted. Looks fire, and then this is the kitchen. Probably my favorite part of this entire apartment. It's just so cute in here. I recently um, got the new Raisin Cane's Post Malone cup that just came out, which is super fire. I'm gonna try to collect all four of them. So I have it under my posty shrine with all my Funko Pops. Over here, we got the kitty clock, the cigarette I made, cutting board. And then this is just like the little dining area. Got my bong here. Got my Lana poster up. I love Lana, Tyler, and Kurt, as y'all can tell. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the apartment, y'all. I love my apartment. It's nothing special, but uh, it's nice, you know? And then these doors actually lead out to the balcony, but I can't really take y'all out there because you'll know where I live. But it's a really nice balcony, and it was one of the selling points of this place when I uh, first moved in here. So yeah, that's the crib, y'all. I think eventually I'm gonna end up painting the entirety of this place, like a white or a gray color, something like that. I'm gonna get rid of these yellow walls. Um, and then I'm gonna get some rugs and stuff to make it more homey and cozy. I don't know how long I'm gonna live in this apartment. Um, I probably will for another year, maybe, and then hopefully get a house or something. That's my goal. Um, I've been talking to my landlord and he said as soon as he gets a house available, he's gonna like hit me up and let me know. So I don't know, hopefully I'll get into a house soon within the next year. Okay guys, so I wanted to sit here and have a snack with y'all. I went to the store earlier and I found these. These are called flat white donut peaches. I don't know what the fuck these are on. I've never heard of this before. I've never seen them before. But when I saw this, I was like, y'all, I gotta try this. I've been trying to eat more fruit recently and you know, just like, look at this fucking peach. It's definitely not a donut, but it is donut shaped. So I'm gonna try this. It's actually pretty good. I honestly think my brain was expecting these to taste like an actual donut, but I'm still not let down. They're really tasty. So recently I have been reminiscing on the year 2014 so much. I don't know why, it was just like, I was a sophomore in high school. I, like the aesthetic at the time was like so good. It was like Lana Del Rey. I'm just gonna like show you guys my Instagram from then. I don't think anyone even knows about this Instagram except for like me and like people I went to high school with. I took my aesthetic so seriously back then you guys. It was like my number one priority was my Instagram aesthetic. <laughs> like as you can see I had everything matching and I think we should just do a little breakdown and go through these pictures because it's like it brings back so much nostalgia. So I made the STFU Matthew like username and like account. And let's see, it was January 2016 is when I came up with that username. It was like my Tumblr name. And you guys look at my fucking Instagram feed. So this is like when I had everything like in the white aesthetic, this fucking alien hat, <laughs> this shit bitch had me in a chokehold. I was obsessed with that. I remember just like, Pictures like this were the shit, like I took this picture, I thought it was so fucking hard. And then like, just like wearing Adidas superstars, those were the shit then as well. And if you scroll down, you can see it. I had this like brownish feed, which I was, I was like so proud of this. <laughs> like 15, 15 year old me was like stoked. So I think this is a good place to start with this Lana shirt. You guys, I got this Lana shirt in 2015 at Urban Outfitters. And I don't have it anymore, but I wish I still did because look how fucking hard that is. I, this was just <laughs> such a different time. And then we get into the black and white era where I was obsessed with like Lush and like their bath bombs. And I remember I wore this Kale shirt. Um, if you guys remember the Beyonce 7-Eleven music video came out, I loved it. So I bought the fucking shirt that she wore in the music video. And that's why I had that. Also, by the way, you guys, I recently got a new tattoo. I've not showed y'all on this channel, but if you guys remember, my dad did that SpongeBob tattoo on me like 
probably nine months ago and it, it looked like shit <laughs> but he did a good job for it being his first tattoo however it was on my arm right here and i have like all these nice tattoos and it was just ruining my real estate value you know what i mean so i got this traditional heart and covered it up um and I'm really happy with it. I'm not, it's not done yet. There's gonna be like another giant flower here covering this and then it will be done. Um, and then I'm just gonna move on to my chest. I think after that, cause I, I'm really trying to get my chest filled up. I have like a lot of really cool ideas. So I need to do that. All right y'all, so I'm about to start cooking this shit. I got my onion chopped up and my garlic. Now that my onions have sauteed, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a half of a pound of ground beef and then a half of a pound of Italian sausage and that will be your meat. Italian sausage, ground beef. So it calls for two tablespoons of tomato paste, two cups of marinara sauce, and this is the Rayo's kind. This shit is so expensive. It's like eight fucking dollars for this jar. But the recipe calls for this specific brand and I've used it before and it's actually really good. Like I really like it. So is it worth the extra money? I don't fucking know, but it does taste really good. And then you're gonna need three cups of chicken broth. This looks like fucking mellow yellow. I almost forgot we're also gonna need a half a cup of whipping cream. You guys look how fucking pretty and good this looks once you pour this in. This looks like a fucking planet. It looks like Jupiter. <laughs> All right, so once it's boiling, you're just going to add half of a box of these lasagna noodles. So I like to just break it in half so they're not super long. Put them in there like that. You guys, this is such a good recipe. So I just want to let that cook until the noodles are done. All right, y'all, so the pasta is done. Look how fucking good this looks. This is genuinely one of my favorite recipes. It's so, oh, it's just so good. Look at that. You already know I had to put some hot sauce on that bitch. Literally hot sauce goes on everything for me. I like Texas Pete the best. In my opinion, that's the best hot sauce. Like sriracha is good too, but I actually saw that there was like a sriracha sort shortage going on right now. And people were paying like 70 bucks for a bottle of it. That's like insane. I would never.